You know I live here. If I were you, I'll put that down. Why? Because those are my stuff. I live here. This is my house. My mom lives here. I want to call the police on you. That's not how you steal two packages, lady. If you didn't know what you're doing, sweetheart, you should have asked your boy Armlock. First off, honey, this isn't a one-person job. You're going to need to recruit some homies that you can trust and rely on. Then you're going to have to clear everyone out and set up a perimeter around the two packages. Communication is key to give real-time updates and intel, okay? Just watch as this textbook double care package deal takes place. Also, yeah, I hear you. I can't get over there fast enough. I'm trying to get over there. I'm coming. I'm coming. Shit. <laughs> Which one you want? Okay, got it. And that is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, sweetheart? So next time you don't end up hooked and booked, just like right here. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! Yeah, I've upped my care package stealing game. You know, I don't even mess around unless there's two of them lying around anymore. <laughs> Oh boy, but anyway, back by popular demand, I am running with a different rig. I'm running with the Merc and the Mauler. Uh, you guys asked me to change it up a little bit, so that's what I'm doing, just to entertain you guys. Now, if you look at some of my previous videos when I first started my channel, I've dropped the atomizers with every single gun in the game, except for the Hellstorm pistol, but check those out. The editing isn't as good as it is now, because, of course, I'm still learning, but uh, you're always welcome to check those out if uh, you're in that sort of thing. Ooh, look at this, two-piece and a biscuit! Two piece and a biscuit. How do you like that? Ooh, baby, a triple. Now, I like the man at arms because it allows me to run around at full speed with this uh, big old Mauler gun. And the Mauler is interesting. I got a love hate relationship with it. I mean, it'll get beat out kind of mid to long range quite a bit. It's not so accurate. But I tell you what, that those up close to mid range fights, this thing really excels in. And I'm not mad at all at the uh, hip fire on this puppy. I mean, it's, it's it's for an LMG, the hip fire is pretty close together. So, yeah, you can shoot from the hip on this puppy. So you can get kind of aggressive with it. One of the reasons why I like it that, and of course the ammo capacity. Ooh, he almost laid me down, so i got to back out of that. I know they're pushing over there on the, uh, the grass side there. So... Um, I actually got two deatomizers with this right off the bat, and wouldn't you, this, different lobbies, but wouldn't you know it, both maps were actually this one right here, throwback. But the other one, I don't know, I think this one maybe is a little bit more entertaining than the other one, plus I didn't want to have a crazy long video, because, you know, I know you guys get kind of, you know, it gets kind of boring watching a super long video, but... Um, do you guys like the mower? I, what do you, what do you, what attachments are you rocking with it? I, I do a little bit of everything with my mower, man. Sometimes I go suppressor, sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm mixing and matching. I think I almost always throw quick draw and foregrip on there, and then maybe even suppressor. Um, so you guys have to let me know. You know what? Stock isn't bad on these LMGs either. If you really like to like be aggressive and strafe a little bit. So I kind of like to uh, strafe around corners and it really does help out with that pre-aiming mobility if you throw a stock on this puppy, but definitely not a requirement. As you can see, I got, I got my uh, reactive armor in my back pocket there and I'm just kind of trying to find them here. I'm trying to, uh, you know, go around the outskirts of the map and See where I can catch them, but I think at some point it might be around now. Some of them tap out, and yeah, see, homeboy just tapped out right there. So some of them are tapping out because they're getting destroyed, and I think in a second it fills. But yeah, this is a fun gun, super fun gun, great for getting like, um, like, like frenzy kills, fury kills because of the ammo capacity. It will just lay people down. This is a feel-good gun, man. When you're on fire, this this gun this gun works. The only thing that sucks is reload time. I you have to run dexterity with it. Now in this particular game, look at them all. They're all tapping out, bro. They're all tapping out. Um, in this particular game, I am not running dead silence because the Merc doesn't stomp around too loudly. Like Synaptic, for example, if you don't run uh, dead silence with Synaptic, I feel like I can hear you across the map. I mean, it seems pretty loud, but this. 
uh, doesn't seem so bad. Do you, do you guys have that same experience, I wonder? Is that just me? Is that just me that thinks it's super loud with other rigs? But it seems like I can get away without running uh, dead silence on Merc quite a bit. So, I don't know. I, I'd be interested to see if you guys uh, had any similar experience with that, by the way. So, let me know. And, yeah, just kind of like lots of rinse and repeat right here. I, I I actually looked at the score just to make sure that they didn't tap out. At least we had some enemies. There's four people in the game right now. So, just trying to find out what they're at. I can be a little aggressive. When you have your um, specialist in your back pocket, you can be a little bit aggressive. I mean, that is the key. Knowing when to be aggressive, knowing when to pull back, really goes into to helping you get over that hump. You know what I mean? That plateau of going from, you know, not too bad at the game to really good. You know, learning to read your map, knowing when to push, when to pull, you know. So many times, I, in fact, I got a friend, I'm not going to name him, Ice, that likes to push, push, push all the time. And, you know, every now and then it'll work out for him, but... You know, the statistics just aren't with you, bro. You, I mean, you got to know when to push. And you got to know when to pull, man. You know, I mean, it's it's a tricky thing. Right there, I pop my bubble. Bubble saved me right here. And then I'll challenge since I have the bubble. So, see, I mean, right there. Okay, so now it's a tricky situation because, you know, I, I'm kind of racing my teammates to kills right now. But I no longer have a specialist to get me out of danger if I overcommit. So, this this is an interesting scenario right here. I kind of got cover. I jump over that little ledge there. Nice little jump shot play on him. And uh, I'm in their spawn. Interesting place to be the spawn. Really got to know how to listen. The sound whore, read your mini map. I killed one. You always got to assume they're going to come back for a revenge. I killed two. Now keep in mind. There you go. There's three. Keep in mind, I got to assume they're going to come back for a revenge. And if... Two of them come at the same time. That could be dangerous. So I just simply go to the other side of the map. And who do I see? Campy McCamperson right up there on the rooftop like old St. Nick. It's not Christmas time, buddy. Get off the rooftop. Santa's not coming for you, bud. All right, so we're doing pretty good. I got the advanced UAV. We're balls deep in the spawn. Look at this. He popped active camo. That could have been that could have been the deal breaker right there. He almost put the kibosh of the whole, the whole gig right there. He popped active camo because he knew I was there. Very smart play on his part, man. I mean, you can't blame him for doing it. You know, probably knew I was on a streak, but check out this. Just reading my advance UAV, snuck up behind him, got the got the nuke right there. And it's a shame that the game's over right now because I believe I ended up like one kill off getting the juggernaut too. So kind of unfortunate right there, but you know, it is what it is. And yeah, here it is right there. The game's over and there's that's it. I think I got a 29 kill streak or something like that. So just one off the juggernaut. Nonetheless, I think it's pretty entertaining. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm running out of ideas until World War II drops, guys. So help me out. Let me know what you'd like to see. And I'm going to try my best to make it happen. Possibly a pick my class video or something like that. You know, you let me know what you want to see. And I'll do my best to get it done, okay? Until next time, friends. Arm Locks is out.